Well, a secret shopper scam is preying on businesses and job seekers alike by using the names of local companies and their bank account numbers. Scammers issue fake checks to secret shoppers who are encouraged to deposit the checks and wire back the money. Here with more information is John Pascal, servant leader for the Better Business Bureau serving Southeast Texas. And this is pretty ingenious how this seems to work because, okay, as a woman, uh, I like to shop. I know that surprises you. It's a shocking revelation, <laughs> but we'll get past that. Yeah. It is a common thing that people look for. A lot of people are looking for work at home, ways yeah. to work at home. They get something in the mail that says we'd like you to be a secret shopper for Bells, Target, Walmart, you know, And these JC are reputable Pennies. companies. Exactly. Now, to do this, here's your check. To start off with, send your receipts, do the shopping, send us a receipt, you'll get paid. Now what's interesting and what the critical person will see is that the check is a check from a local business. But the name of the local business is one that they recognize, but completely unrelated to the company you're working for as the secret shopper. Hmm. So then you start thinking, why would the check come from a local business that I know? Well, if they don't look at that, the check, the check is either stolen or fraudulent or it could be an actual check from that business that's been stolen and they've used their account numbers and the consumer recognizes, oh, I've, I know this business, they've been here for 40 years, this is a good check. Oh, no. And it's a stolen check. This happens a lot, it really does, but it adds legitimacy to the secret shopping for the consumer so they trust it even more and then they go ahead, they cash the check, they wire back the money, it is a fraudulent check, they lose the money they've wired and they lose the money when it comes back out of their account. And they lose the money that they shopped with too. Precisely. So I know that there are truly secret shopper jobs out there. So how do you know the difference between the two? Well, the difference between the two, of course, you ask the questions. And the checks where you're getting paid are actually from that company you're working for. Mm -hmm. And they typically don't send you a check ahead of time. They're going to ask you to do the shopping, send in your receipts or whatever reports are required, and then you get paid. They don't pay you up front and especially don't ask you to wire back the money. But there are some things that businesses can do to protect themselves as well, and that's to watch, uh, protect their checks. If they do use certain checks, if they have checks that are being mailed to them, they place an order for checks, make sure they get it in time, protect the checks, protect their account numbers, protect passwords, and you just want to be careful for things like this because uh, scammers can steal the checks, wash the checks, use the account numbers, and then by the time they find it, then they're out quite a bit of money. It's a very scary thing, not only for the person that wants to be a secret shopper, but also for the businesses. It really is, and they need to be careful about that. As you said, there are really secret shoppers and there are jobs such as that, but we have to ask questions, be careful, be critical, and if they're concerned about it, call the BBB because we can tell them if one's legitimate or not. BBB.org, and a phone number? 835-5348. And you're not going to be there 24-7, but if they go to the website. Somebody will be. All right. Thanks, John. We appreciate <laughs> it.